recent world championships in Almaty, Kazakhstan a month ago in the light heavyweight division, Julio Cesar La Cruz. Pavel Stepienda for the Hussars is uh, his opponent. A real tough test for this young lad, national champion. But uh, really in the deep end against uh, La Cruz. Nickname back home is the doctor. It's like going into an operation, his opponents can often be heard to say. And it's also with the precision that he goes about his work and business that he has earned that nickname. Please welcome to the Well, Stepien not only getting his first taste of WSB action, but his first uh, bout <laughs> in the World's Premier Boxing League is up against the world champion. Such is the quality within these uh, global franchises, world and Olympic champions competing across 10 weight categories. He weighs 79 kilo. He is the two-time world champion, Julio Cesar La Cruz. The champion, that is Nico. In the red corner, he is 23 years old. He is 187 centimeters tall. He weighs. 81 kilos. He is the youth Polish, Polish champion. He's the winner of the Polish Cup. He is Paolo Stepien. Well, he's won it all back home. Now it's his turn to try and prove his skills on the international stage. Well, so good to see that WSB really does embrace uh, team spirit. The strength of the team is each individual box set. I'll be, I'm intrigued, I really am, uh, to see how uh, La Cruz approaches <laughs> this match. He's brimming with confidence, as with Alvarez off the back of successfully defending his world title. His opponent, a little taller, slightly longer reach and range. But uh, Stepien has never faced an opponent of this quality in his career to date. He's absolutely delighted to have been given the opportunity. Some of the reports and some of the comments from the local press here in Poland that the Hussars absolutely delighted to be hosting Cuba Domadores is the whole of the WSB to have one of the world's finest boxing nations take part in this competition. Really has uh, set the event alight. Oh, look at that for an uppercut from uh, La Cruz. Again, like the Cuban boxer before him, Despania. He's got a very powerful, hard-hitting right. Good shot, though, that was from uh, Stepien. Put one right on the chin there with the right hand. That'll help his confidence.
under a minute in the first round. Looking very calm, looking very relaxed. Stepian just needs to be careful here, getting himself caught in the corner. Good work from uh, La Cruz. There's a ten seconds. La Cruz steps it up a gear just to confirm that he's taken this first round. Well, Pavel Stepien doing well, holding his ground. Put some good exchanges and one particularly good right hand right on the chin of the world champion, but still out punched, out crossed. And uh, Julio Cesar La Cruz takes that first. There's the head coach, uh, Rolando Azabal. Began coaching back in 1978. He's now the technical director for the Cuban national Olympic team. And uh, Hubert Migazev, himself a very successful fighter in his day, over 100 fights to his name. Now responsible for the Polish national team and their WSB squad. I was hoping that we'd see a replay of that right hand from Stepien. Nothing else, one that he could remember and savor. Let's see if the tactical plan changes a little now from Cesar La Cruz. Julio Cesar La Cruz. And just starts to raise the tempo a little bit. Turn the screws on uh, Pavel Stepien. Body shot from the Polish boxer in a dark shorts. to cause Stapien a little bit of trouble and difficulty. This time it was the right. And uh, Stapien, well, dropping the hands. Timing's absolutely brilliant from La Cluz. And uh, Stepien now is in just the second round, starting to struggle now to find punches to counter. now and again referee needs to watch this carefully there's the count eight ten punches in succession Stepien having no counter Second round, and La Cruz could look to finish this before the third. He's really turning the screws here now, and the Polish boxer starting to feel the power and the heat and pressure from the world number one. And it's only a matter of time, surely, before the ref stops in and says, that's enough. Second count in the second round. There are 14 seconds left to go. He's determined to go on. 
brave performance from Pavel Stepien. There's the bell, and you may say saved by it. Well, taking his time to get into his stride. Round one. But uh, here you can see, well, Pavel Stepien has no answers for this. A 10-8 from all three judges in the 10-point must scoring system. An onslaught of 8-9. Punch combinations here. Right into the ribs. The uppercut shots. The hook. And just when Stepien thinks he's done enough to cover up with the body. Switches back downstairs. Brilliant work from the world number one. Brilliant work from La Cruz. And I'm not sure how Second long down, round three. this will go into the third round. <laughs> Two piercing jabs just to kickstart, just when Stepien has regained his composure. Given some motivational words from the corner. That's better. He's determined to stay in this bout. Oh, but look at La Cruz now. He's really turning it on. And I think he's decided in his mind that he's not going to let this go the full distance. Stepien's got to keep his hands up. And that's enough. Third round. TKO. La Cruz. And I totally agree with the referee. Second TKO of the night for Cuba. Despania in the welterweight and in the light heavies. Julio Cesar La Cruz. Came out determined, didn't he? But uh, trying to taunt and uh, draw on the world number one with your hands round by your waist is not a good tactic. Towel thrown in by the corner this time. My apologies. Didn't quite see that from our camera angle here in the commentary box. The corner say enough was enough. And Cuba. 4-0 ahead with the super heavyweight still to come. Let's get the final decision. Shut up the pants, ladies and gentlemen. In after 33 seconds of the third round, the winner on a technical knockout, you know the cruise season! I think this man is going to draw the crowd to wherever he boxes across the four continents of the WSB for season four. Spectacular performance. Oh, what a man to have in your team. A true gentleman. A fantastically skilled boxer. Two TKOs for Cuba. Visiting Poland here tonight. Still yet to drop about with uh, the final weight division of the evening to be contested. Here's the confirmation. Despania and La Cruz with the two TKOs. Fourth and third round for La Cruz. Alvarez and Cervantes. Unanimous victories. With the super heavyweights next up. Well, warming up on the pads in the locker room. Joandi Toyak. And Toyak. 19 years of age from Havana. Only started boxing back in 2009, but he's a Pan American champion. Took that title.